Hey, good morning, YouTube. This is the supply charger. There's apparently a little six volt battery charger circuit inside of there. It has a red LED. I showed you that operating. And it's got a 5.5 by 2.5 millimeter power plug. And one problem with this charger is it takes a really long time, like a day or two to charge the battery. I think it's more like a trickle charger. And so I thought I could try my IMAX B6. Built up a little adapter with a Dean's plug down here and put a 2.5 millimeter power plug over there and hooked it up to the IMAX B6. And then I went over and set it up for the lead acid battery charge, three cells of six volts. And I left this charger on overnight and the battery was at 5.8 volts last night. And this morning it was only at 5.83. So it had been on charge 16 hours and it only gone up by 30 millivolts. So now I've got it on the IMAX B6 charging at 0.4 amps. So that's a C over 10 charge rate. It's a four and a half amp hour battery. So I'm charging it at roughly a tenth of its capacity. So we'll see what kind of uh, charge it takes and how long it takes. And uh, yeah, this should work out pretty nicely here. This IMAX is pretty nice. It's pretty easy to make a little adapters. You just need a female Dean's connector on that end and then put your connector of choice on the other end. And I've made up quite a number of uh, adapters for my IMAX. I've got this one for my uh, Black & Decker batteries. I took a Black & Decker charger head and then put the uh, mating Dean's plug on that end. And I've got a an adapter there. So yeah, you can make all sorts of neat little adapters. Let me show you this one here. This is just another option if you don't want to use a Dean's plug. This Dean's plug to alligator or crocodile clip adapter comes with the IMAX B6 and then you can just take a, in this case it's a 2.1 millimeter power jack and I just stuck two wires in with bare ends and then I just clipped the alligator clips on the bare ends, red and black, and I can charge anything with a 2.1 millimeter power plug. So that's another option if you don't want to do a dedicated uh, wire like that. I just had to get a, two connectors and a couple pieces of wire and I made a custom battery charger and I can get capacity ratings and change the charge amps and all that good stuff so yeah that's a pretty handy little tool there you need a charger for an old lantern maybe you've lost the charger for an old device if you can just find a plug that fits it make yourself a custom adapter took all of two minutes to make and there we go YouTube got the uh, six volt lead acid battery that's in the lantern right there charged up Looks like it was about half discharged, took 2238 milliamp hours, and it's a 4500 milliamp hour battery. I charged it at four tenths of an amp, and it took about uh, seven hours total. So that's much quicker than the original battery charger. That one would take several days to charge. Yeah, it looks like we got a full charge and it uh, tapered off four tenths down to zero. Looks like that'll make a good charger for that battery and I can check the capacity. So yeah, if you uh, have an old lantern like that and you uh, maybe you've lost the charger or the charger broke, this is a handy way to get it working again. So if you have any questions or comments, put that in the comments section below. And as always, thanks for watching.